The new generation of the Malugin ring is specifically designed to be implanted through 2.0 mm incision. Prior to implantation, viscoelastic is injected into the anterior chamber and under the iris. Made of 5.0 polypropylene, the device is more flexible and very friendly to the iris tissue. Increased scroll gap makes it much easier for me to engage pupillary margin. After both vitreal scrolls are in place, I'm using manipulator introduced through the side port to release the proximal scroll from the injector hook and to position it in place. The scroll released from the instrument with the rotational movement. The new version of the Malugin ring is very gentle to the iris, providing controlled stretching and expansion of the pupil. Very low profile of the device does not restrict the movements of the instruments in the anterior chamber. Now I'm using Zybel Capsulorexis forceps to create circular opening in the anterior capsule. A very smooth mechanism of this instrument allows me to precisely control capsular flap. Second version of the Malugin ring creates perfectly round pupil which is slightly over than 6 mm. Ultrasonic needle is embedded into the nucleus and the chopper is used to make the first crack. Then the nucleus is rotated, fixated with high vacuum settings. The nucleus is chopped again and quadrants evacuated with the high vacuum settings. There is no billowing or prolapsing the iris which is very stable during these manipulations. Bimanual irrigation aspiration allows me to reach cortical material in every segment of the capsular bag. Hydrophilic acrylic IOL is implanted through unenlarged 2.0 mm incision and the haptical elements positioned inside the capsular bag with the help of the side port instrument. Due to the improved biomechanical properties, the new version of the Malugin ring is not only easy to implant, it is much easier to remove from the eye. First, I disengage distal scroll, followed by the proximal scroll. Now it is lifted above the iris plane, positioned on the foot plate and catched by the injector hook. By sliding thumb button back, the ring is retracted. Second instrument is used to assist both lateral scroll to enter the injector tube. Viscoelastic is removed and the pupil constricts spontaneously and this is basically the end of this case. I thank you for your attention.